you made good time. Sunday. Hardly recognize you without the uniform. Yeah, it was like a second skin. Hey, you look like hell. Remembrance of things past. Oh, it's a retirement gift. 100 greatest books ever written. I get one every month. 94 to go. <laughs> Good thing you're still young. <laughs> Doesn't say if there was a positive ID, but it was one of the girls, wasn't it? Nancy Finch. When the tree fell over, her body washed down into the spillway. What was left of it. A couple days later, they found the others. All within 100 yards, each buried under a tree. I want the autopsy protocols. Dental records verified the identification. Remains were turned over to their families. So You're saying there were no forensic exams, no autopsy protocols? So that they could be given a proper burial. It's still an open case. It's eyes. I'll get an order of exhumation. After 15 years? 15 or 50, I never got the killer. And you think you're going to now? I sent that to you for your edification. Now I wish it got lost in the mail. Malone, this town's changed. I don't know half the people here anymore. Most of them think that what happened is ancient history, if they remember it at all. Is it ancient history to you? I remember those girls. I remember looking at their pictures, how useless I felt when every lead took us right into a brick wall. And I remember Carl Jenks. Well, that guy hadn't been seen or heard from since it happened. And he wasn't our only suspect. He was our best. When he left town, the killing stopped. Well, I know he fit your guesstimate. It's called a profile, Tom. <sighs> Whatever, it was all we had. We never found the evidence. We never found the bodies. Maybe it wasn't Jenks. Maybe the profile was flawed. But someone killed those girls, Tom. There are four families whose wounds aren't going to heal until we nail them. Four families who need closure. Oh, so this is about the families. Mrs. Finch, please, just give me a minute. Nancy's remains were buried before a complete forensic examination could be performed. It's a critical part of our investigation. Even after all this time, it could yield important evidence. Evidence that could help us find whoever killed her. I know an exhumation would be difficult for you and your family, but I promise you the exam would be completed as quickly as possible. I could petition the court, but Agent I'd rather... Agent Malone, after 15 years, my daughter is finally at peace. If you have any decency at all. How old were the girls? Between 14 and 16. Sexually active? Never proven. They were cheerleader types. Flirtatious, like to hang around all the guys. And your profile was? White male, probably self-employed, working his own schedule. The girls were abducted in the middle of the day, so we eliminated suspects with nine to five jobs. One of the suspects, Carl Jenks, had a pornography collection that defied belief. No apparent relationship to provide an outlet for sexual tension. So this is where they found the first set of remains? Nancy Finch, 15-year-old. They were all buried under the same kind of tree. Polonia tomentosa. Locals call it the princess tree. Jenks left town right after the murders. Hasn't been seen here again. Doesn't mean he hasn't been here. He planted these trees to mark their graves. I wouldn't be surprised if he's visited them over the years. And seeing how these trees have grown would keep the victims alive in his mind, allowing for more vivid fantasizing. His princesses. That's his obsession. What's yours? Agent Malone, Sheriff's Department, Teresa Como. This is Agent Rachel Burke. Kind of thought we might find you out here. What is it? We have a homicide half mile away, female, found her buried next to a princess tree.
dead about eight hours. Helene Jeffries found a car down the road. You know, well, in the old days, I probably would have. She worked at Snyder's bookstore, Kemper's founder. Activity in the area probably scared him away before he could finish the burial. George, it's me. Yeah, I know what time it is. Look, I want the last known whereabouts for Carl William Jenks. J-E-N-K-S. Start with Social Security records, then DOC state by state. Now, you don't really think he did this? Who's Carl Jenks? That tree's the only commonality we have. And it was mentioned in all the papers. All the other victims were young girls. This is a grown woman. They were all buried in remote spots where a few feet from the road. They were all victims of opportunity. Jenks would be in his 40s now. Maybe he, not as fit. Maybe he couldn't drag her that far. Jinx is gone. You said he might have come back. Might have. Who is Jinx? One of the original suspects. The rest of my team will be here first thing in the morning. I'll need motel rooms and direct line hookups to NCIC and Vine Camp. You'll have them. Ever occurred to you you might be chasing a ghost? When she said there was another victim, my first thought wasn't about someone who might have suffered like those girls did. It was that the case isn't cold anymore. I was glad. A woman's dead, and I'm glad. How sick is that? Lacerations on the torso range in length from 3 to 14 centimeters and in depth from 4 to 12. Most likely inflicted by a serrated knife, a hunting type. Slashes on the breast range in length from Helene Jeffries lived alone, never married, no boyfriend. She liked to raise carnations and play bridge. Does that sound like a seductress to you? Still waters. The wounds are predominant on the breast and pelvic area, as if he tried to destroy her femininity. Either he was seriously pissed at her in particular or at women in general. Bailey thinks it's the same guy that killed those girls 15 years ago. Allergies. The discovery of the bodies could have stirred up the killer's demons. Without exhumation, we can't tell anything about the cause of death. Bailey was hot to exhume before he spoke to Nancy Finch's mother, and now he'd like to avoid it if he can. Of course, burying her next to a princess tree could be a crude attempt at a copycat killing. Blue? Thank <laughs> you. 
not Jenks. Who are you? Jesse Thurman. What are you doing out here? Paying my respects. Helena and I were friends. How do you know she's dead? This is where her body was found. It's all in the news. OK. Let's get up. Go on home now. He's not going anywhere. Bring him up top. I want to talk to him. Look, the guy was Bring just Bring him up here. top. Let's go. Is he always this committed, Agent Grant? You always this formal, Sheriff Como? Nice tackle. I played some. The secret is placing your body in the most ergonomic position possible so as to minimize resistance and maximize effective thrust. Is that what your coach taught you? Coach Stephanie. But there was no sexual contact between the victim and killer immediately prior to her death. Oh. Female sexuality probably frightens him. A come on, a smile, even a friendly gesture could be perceived as an intolerable threat. To what? His ego. Maybe he's impotent. And the slashings could be self-directed anger at his own dysfunction. Bailey's original profile says it's doubtful he would have had a sexual relationship with a woman. Probably no normal relationship with any woman at all. Oh, Jenks' mother was a real mommy dearest. Yeah, well, no one knows where Jenks is. Is there anything distinctive about the knife? I'm pregnant. <clears throat> so why aren't congratulations in order? Because a divorce might be in order. He moved out two weeks ago. Does he know about the baby? I don't want to move him back just because my test strip turned blue. I promised myself I wasn't gonna. <laughs> it was a curved blade. Serrated about three inches at the end. You want a lot of knives, don't you? I'm a carpenter. So the answer is yes. Were you having an affair with Helene Jeffries? Found these in Jesse's car. They look new. Too new to have been used 15 years ago. So you're a married man? Yes, sir. I told you that. Five years. Six, November. You're faithful to your wife? She's a wonderful woman. Well, I don't care if she's Joan of Arc. Bailey's original profile just doesn't fit him. Fit the man to the profile, not the profile to the man. Oh, boy, can I write that one down? Sure. Can anyone vouch for your whereabouts at the time she was killed? Between two and four Sunday afternoon. I delivered a cabinet to Grace Williams on Chestnut Street. We'll check it out. Don't leave town, Jesse. Jesse's married. He's, he's got female friends. I mean, I'm not saying that he didn't do this murder, but. Unless Bailey's profile wasn't worth squat. Hmm. Face facts, Rachel. Bailey's not God. He makes mistakes just like the rest of us. Brilliant deduction. According to Oregon State Police, Carl Jenks was sentenced to 18 months for a third lewd conduct offense. He was paroled last April after serving only a year. He had a parole officer, of course, but it looks like the meetings sort of dwindled and Jenks just slipped through the cracks. The guy must have had a job, written a check, something we could trace. Yeah. After leaving Oregon, uh, he worked on a fishing boat in Vancouver for a little bit, and there are unsubstantiated sightings as far north as Alaska. Thanks, Rudy. Bailey, talk to you soon. I hate this kind of music. There used to be a guy who played piano in here. Bill Miller. Yeah. Dead. He could play that guy. How long before you retire? 
I don't think about it. Start. This is what I do. Until somebody tells you you can't anymore. With your connections, you could land something. <laughs> Security consultant. You could sit with your feet up on a desk, work on your portfolio. Kush. That's not what the last 20 years have been about, Tom. Well, what have they been about? I mean, you towed them all up. All the wins and the losses, all the citations on the wall, and a busted marriage. What have they all been about? I didn't think it'd become that much of a silly. I sleep nights. Fifteen years ago, I was still a young father. Francis was five, the baby just been born. And when I saw the faces of those girls who were missing, I thought, they could have been my girls. Jenks could have taken my girls. Bailey, we may never know if he killed them. We may never make the connection between their deaths and Helene Jeffries. No matter how satisfying that might be for you. Jesse's alibi checks out. There's some wiggle room on the timeline, about half an hour or so, but he did deliver that cabinet. So we're nowhere. What? Is Carl Jenks a short, fat guy? 255, 6'2", skinny. Oh. Good. Jenks. Local stopped his pickup because the tags had expired. Sometimes I love this job. When did he get here? About a year ago. Leaving Oregon was a violation of your parole. My parole officer was a drunk. He missed more appointments than I did. And I got court-ordered medication for all that risky behavior. I ain't peeping into people's windows no more. You did more than just peep. Lewd conduct, aggravated assault. I did my time. Why'd you come back, Jenks? Did you miss him? Rain's up there 90% of the time alone. But it does make the trees grow nice and tall. We found the knife rolled up in a rag in the back of your pickup. Same size knife that killed Helene Jeffries. So? I got a knife. Why'd you kill her, Jenks? Didn't she do it for you? Or maybe she did, only you couldn't do anything about it. Or maybe she was too old for you. I'm beginning to take offense at your insinuations, Malone. I don't mess with little girls. I'm asexual now. Nobody's asexual. Jinx may be operating on fewer cells, but sexual needs have to be served. Wish I had more confidence in that knife. Six-inch serrated blade. There's only about a million of them in this thing. Your knife is at least 20 years old. When we match it to the wounds on Helene Jeffries, exhume those bodies. <laughs> it's killing you, ain't it, Malone? All this time and you're still just grabbing at straws. <laughs> Come on! Probably wasn't the smartest thing you've ever done. Who knows we can't hold them. Where's Grace on linking his knife to the wounds on Helene Jeffries? She's working on it. I want someone on him around the clock. I'll get with Como. What am I missing? Sleep, for one thing. When I saw Jenks, I was right back there, 15 years ago. At the moment I heard he left town and the original killing stopped. That knife could match wounds on those girls. 
We don't know that they were wounds. Elaine Jeffries was killed the other day, possibly by the same man who killed your daughter. You can prove that? Only if we exhume Nancy's remains. With your consent, we can avoid going to court and wasting precious time. We have the knife we believe was used to kill Elaine. If we get a match to Nancy's... We believe. If. There are no certainties, ma'am. If she were your daughter, what would you do? I'd like to believe I'd do whatever was necessary so other people wouldn't suffer the same loss. You're going to put us through this anyway, whether we consent or not. She ate just before she died? Less than an hour. Chicken with bits of celery. Only partially digested. Her employer reported her missing three days before we found her. The murderer must have held her captive. But he was struggling with it, didn't want to kill her. Yeah, well, he was pretty sure once he made up his mind. 18 centimeters. That's right down to the hilt. Consistent with the knife we found on Jenks? Consistent with the type of knife. Maybe he held those girls captive, too. He's starting to sound like Bailey. I don't know that the two crimes are connected. I'm trying to connect them. I'm running out of options keeping them apart. Connecting them reshuffles the deck. Well, how am I supposed to connect them if I can't exhume the remains? He attacked her femininity. He directed his rage at her as a woman that didn't assault her. Held her captive for three days. I struggled with his remorse. Like the trees. It's a living marker. And he's been at it five hours, and he's still going. I hear that about asexual types. All energy and no place to put it. Anybody back in Atlanta, you rush home to at night. Well, you seemed interested before. I just thought I'd take the bull by the horns. Nobody. You? No one that matters. So you and Agent Burke ever hook up? Seems to be a point of debate. Long story. <laughs> I ain't going anywhere. Uh, dispatch to 129. Dispatch to 129. This is Como. We have a white female, 29, Stacy Putnam, reported missing by her boyfriend. Missing for how long? Missing for how long? Three days. Get a second shift out here. Uh, get Mark Boyd over here. We're going to come in and talk to the boyfriend. Stacy was hitting on the guy right there in front of me. And what'd she do about it? She was practically down the guy's shirt. <laughs> and you got jealous and... It pissed me off. But I didn't do anything to her. I love her. Why didn't you report her missing sooner? I just thought she was mad at me. He didn't do it. I need your objectivity. You got it. I came into this without any emotional investment, Bailey. Jenks is a credible suspect. I'll get a warrant issued to search Jenks' place issued within the hour. He could be picking victims who taunt him sexually, even if the taunt is only his perception. Sending him into such a rage that when he can't perform, he kills him. Why'd the killings go dormant for 15 years? Maybe he was medicated. We know for at least part of the time he was in jail. Yeah, medical records confirm he was put on antidepressants in 87. 15 years ago, there weren't as much antidepressants as there were antipsychotics, lithium, thorazine, very powerful stuff. Maybe he cycled off his meds, he killed, drifted into a delusional state. Maybe that's why he left town. But if Jenks did abduct Stacy, there's still a chance that he's wrestling with his guilt. He might not have killed her. Como hasn't left him alone. What the 
the hell's he doing? on the move. Good reason for following me. You arrogant son of a bitch. Something better than that. I was. <laughs> Shut up. That hurts. It's just starting to hurt. Bailey. Don't. Who's bearing paint cans? Check the upstairs and the attic. Nothing. Likewise, the basement and downstairs. Somebody ought to get the board of health out here. Guy looks like an animal. Careful. Are you sure you want to add slander to your problems? Where's the girl, Jenks? I hear juries can be mighty generous when it comes to police harassment. You just better hope we find her alive. Oh, I do. Don't you look fresh? Spent the night turning Jenks' place upside down. Stacy's not there. We did find something in the tool shed. Somebody ate a meal there recently. Any sign that will help happen? Hard to tell. No place is a big sign. Arrest them. Bill, are you sure you want to go there? If he's going to sue us anyway, I want his ass in jail. Sometimes I love this job. I thought our point was keeping Jenks behind bars. No, you have done. Only about our chances of finding matching wounds on 15-year-old remains. Mrs. Finch. Multiple knife lacerations on her clavicles, scapula, and lower rib cage. So she was killed by a knife? She has knife wounds. I don't know what killed her. Are they consistent with Jack's knife? They're consistent with the type of knife. You know, what do you want from me, Bailey? I want a match on the knife, or the exhumation was for nothing. 
Well, maybe it was for nothing. But I'm not going to tell you that there was a match just because you want to hear it. And speaking of futility, that food that John found in Jenk's tool shed, the saliva on the plate, was canine. I count 32 wounds inflicted from the back and side. That's conclusive. She was 15 years old, small for her age. But nothing in the chest or pelvic area. He avoided those areas. I'm sorry, but I'm not all bad news. Nancy had a broken finger. She broke it the day before she was abducted. We ran that lead down. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that the fracture never had time to heal, not even for a day or two. So she wasn't held captive? Killed the day she was abducted. And the number of wounds is almost double that of Helene Jeffers. Avoiding areas of femininity. Nancy's becoming a sexual being. The killer was threatened by that. Who would be most afraid of the blossoming sexuality of a teenage girl? A teenage boy. doing this to me. I've always been friendly to you, haven't I? Whenever you've come into the store, I've always tried to be helpful. Did I say something that you didn't like? Say that now. It's true, please. I just want to go home. Let me go. I promise I won't tell anyone anything about this. 137, when you arrive there, please notify me if you need any more backup. Over. Roger that. There may be a hostage in the safety. was a lie. I can't trust you. Oh, no, please. You've left me no choice. Stop pursuing Jesse because part of the profile was that the killer wouldn't have a normal relationship with a woman. Maybe he didn't. 
I mean, there's all kinds of marriages. Maybe... You can stop your guessing. Follow me. She's had multiple sclerosis for years. She's 29. Advanced MS. He fed her, he bathed her. Just the kind of relationship he needed. It allowed him to suppress his sexual fears by focusing on the care his wife required. Yeah, until they uncovered the bodies and then all this years came rushing back. Fifteen years ago, he was afraid to even touch his victims' bodies. But he matured. Bailey? I couldn't get through it. For a long time, I used to go to bed early. Swan's way opening line. Well, I hope next month's a comedy. I'm glad I sent you that note. So am I. False arrest? Harassment? My lawyer says I should collect about seven figures. Your lawyer should collect a copy of the Bannon Springs Civil Code. You dumped those pen cans on county land. The bearing of non-biodegradables is a violation of ordinance. 925.3. Punishable by a $10,000 fine or six months in jail. Which is it going to be? For what it's worth, your original profile was dead on. But I never considered the possibility that the killer could have been 15. Just as juvenile records were sealed. His mental illness, medical treatment, abuse at the hand of his mother. Kids killing kids. Welcome to the millennium. I gotta go. I'm sorry, you keep saying it. Oh. 